And pigeons playing ping pong were on Relics Live last night. Right, from the Capitol. We have a nine-year-old kid who loves them. We've heard their music a little bit, but never got to watch them live. And boy, Pete Shapiro, that room at the Capitol Theater is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So shout out to him. But I'm curious, what's your takeaway on their version of Eyes of the World? I have not heard it yet. I so, haven't heard Pigeon playing. I love the name of the band, but I have not heard a lick of their music yet. I've seen them because okay. they, they've become regulars at Lockin. They, they've, they have gotten really popular really fast because a couple of years ago at Lockin, they were on the little stage, on the Relic stage. Right. Uh, and then they, they moved up to the big stage last year, and uh, now they're selling out multiple shows in, in various cities and uh, really taken off. But I have not I heard... Blakesburg posted something last night that Capitol was their largest venue that they've played. Yeah. And you could tell they were just, like, buzzing through it. And I guess the lead guy from Twiddle was also open for them. Yeah, Twiddle. Twiddle. And he played, he played um, one or two songs with them. They looked at, and I didn't realize they were really young. Yes. The audience was really mixed. Yeah. It was, people were just rocking. And... So I'm listening to this version of Eyes of the World, and I swear he sang Eyes of the Squirrel, and that's really why I was asking. Oh, that that wouldn't it. surprise me a bit because they're they're pretty zany guys, and also the squirrel is a I don't know if you know about this. The squirrel is like part of the Capitol Theater mythology because um, the uh, the architect who designed the Capitol, Thomas W. Lamb, who was one of the great theatrical architects festoons the theater with these molded squirrels around i don't no know I, 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 yeah see there you go i, I don't know if, oh if i don't know if like squirrels are especially rampant in portchester new york or if there was just some some weird thing that impelled but uh a lot of that squirrel stuff was like very kind of faded and obscured uh, in the years that the capital fell into disrepair and when when the restoration was made they became much more visible and uh, they, they uh the capital in its little newsletter has little squirrel uh factoids and things that was so, so funny so yeah, we weren't really we weren't really sure we were tweet we were texting back and forth with other friends that were couch touring last night and they they were like eh, i'm not so sure and we were just there were moments that were really brilliant and then there were moments like wait what's going on here but at the end after they did the theme song from Pocahontas as their as their encore, <laughs> they're like, we can't wait to see these guys live. Gary, I'll hit you up on Facebook about maybe connecting in New Orleans. It would be really nice to see you. That would be great. And um, happy Sunday. Thank you for um, thank you for the history lesson about the Capitol Theater. Yeah, I, uh, as soon as you said Eyes of the Squirrel, it made, all made sense to me because of the... I, I, I'll have to find a copy... Uh, on, la on the Capitol's uh, webpage, they put out a little newsletter, and I think it's ca something called like the Squirrel Times or the Squirrel oh, Gazette or cool. something like that. So okay. I'll that find is, that and post that a link is to it. Just try it. But I also, you know, one other shout out to Pete. Yeah. You know, he's done such a beautiful job at making venues meaningful and intimate again. And unfortunately, living in Santa Monica, we haven't yet gotten to the Brooklyn Bowl in New York, and we the times we've been in Vegas that we've been doing a lot of fish stuff there. We've not gotten to the Brooklyn Bowl in Vegas, but this theater, the Capitol Theater, seems so lovely, and our friends who have gone to the Cap to um, Brooklyn Bowl in New York just love it. So I really, you know, give him a lot of kudos for what he's brought back to um, to smaller venue experiences. Yeah, indeed, it, it is a very special place. It's been special in my life for <laughs> going on fifty years now because I I went back in the day. So uh, I'm, I'm awesome. so glad I'm so glad it's back, and I'm so glad it's in the hands of someone who cares about it. As much as pete does yeah it was really really terrific thank you guys and hope to see you soon all right thanks for calling thank you thanks for Take calling care. Bye. Bye.